Welcome. This is chapter 22 of The Spiritual Combat and a Treatise on Peace of Soul by Dom Lorenzo Scupoli. The title of this chapter is How Sensible Things May Aid Us to Meditate on the Passion and Death of Our Savior. It has been shown that we may rise from the consideration of sensible things to the contemplation of the greatness of God. Now we must learn how to relate these things to the memory of the sacred mysteries of our Lord's life and death. Everything in the world can be related to this end. Consider just the fact, as we have already suggested, that God is the first cause of all things, that He has given to every creature, even the most exalted, its being, its beauty, and all the perfections with which it is endowed. Then admire the infinite goodness of this sovereign master of the universe who condescended to become man and suffer an ignoble death for your salvation. He even permitted his own creatures to plot against him and to nail him to the cross. If you want to enter into the details of his sufferings, everything about you will be a reminder of them. Weapons, cords, thorns, reeds, nails, hammers. These will readily bring to mind the instruments of his agony. A humble cottage will represent the stable and manger where he was born. The rain falling on the earth will call to mind the bloody sweat with which he watered the garden of olives. The stones are figures of the rocks which split at his death. When you gaze at the sun or the earth, Remember that when he died, the earth trembled and the sun grew dark. The sight of water will recall the water flowing from his side. A thousand other objects will lend themselves to these considerations. When you drink, think of the gall and vinegar which was offered as refreshment to our amiable Savior by his enemies. If you take too much satisfaction in perfumes, consider the stench of the dead carcasses that had greeted him on Mount Calvary. When dressing, remember that the Son of God clothed himself with our flesh, that we might be clothed with his divinity. In removing your clothes, think of him stripped at the hands of his executioners, about to be scourged and nailed to the cross for your sake. Any tumultuous din should recall the horrible cries of enraged populace against their Lord. I weigh with him, they cried. I weigh with him. Crucify him. Crucify him. Whenever the clock strikes, remember the anguished beats of the sacred heart of Jesus, when in the Garden of Olives he contemplated his approaching passion and death. Or it may recall to mind the strokes of the hammer with which the soldiers nailed him to the cross. In brief, whatever you suffer yourself or see others undergo, it is far short of the pains of body and soul that your Savior suffered during his passion. And so concludes chapter 22 of The Spiritual Combat and a Treatise on Peace of Soul by Dom Lorenzo Scupoli.